Will ChatGPT replace programmers? Today we will find it out. As a programmer and computer science enthusiast, I've been following artificial intelligence and machine learning for quite some time. And one technology that is everyone is talking about now is ChatGPT. Some people say it is perfect, some people say it is rubbish. I would like to offer more or less balanced view. ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence technology that generates human-like responses to natural language input. So basically, you type in some message and you get a response just like you are chatting to someone else. This model is using what is called deep learning algorithms to understand the context of the input and generate relevant output. It's not like just taking your input, but it also taking into account the history of your inputs and overall interactions, so you have nearly a normal conversation with artificial intelligence. Apparently, ChatGPT was trained on a large amount of data, such as books, articles and conversations to improve its language skills and generate more accurate responses. I also think that it is using its interaction history to get better over time. So ChatGPT works by breaking down the input into smaller, more manageable pieces called tokens. These tokens are then used by the model which analyzes them and generates a probability distribution of the next token in the sequence. The model then selects the token with the highest probability and adds it to the output sequence. It sounds silly, but on the scale it is more or less how our mind is working, it's kind of a small model of a mind. I had covered artificial intelligence and machine learning in this video, so if you want to know more about that, check this out. So one of the boldest claims that people have about ChatGPT is that it can somehow replace programmers, either now or in the nearest future. So is it real? The answer depends on who you call a programmer and what you call ChatGPT. Let's start with programmer. By programming, we usually mean writing code to automate or perform some task. Similarly, a professional programmer is a person who does program for money. This is, however, is a rather unhelpful definition, because programming can be something as simple as writing some code to do something once and as complex as creating a new artificial intelligence system itself, while making sure it can still work properly on one's smartwatch. ChatGPT and other artificial solutions are already very capable of doing simple programming tasks. There are some very promising low-code and no-code solutions that can take business requirements in one form and provide some working software as an output. Now, what is ChatGPT? By ChatGPT, people can mean two different things. A preview model, which is available for everyone to try, and the technology that powers this model. The preview model itself was never trained to do one particular task. Instead, it was trained to do everything. Which leads me to two conclusions. ChatGPT preview model wasn't trained and designed for replacing programmers. Now, looking at what ChatGPT is capable of, I think that it is possible that you take ChatGPT model and then train it so it can do programming and do it very well. So, is it going to replace programmers? Well, the technology is definitely going to change the programming jobs landscape and the demand for particular specialists. So, I think what we're going to see next is increased demand for machine learning specialists and infrastructure specialists. At the end of the day, it's not only about writing the program, it's also about being able to run it in production environment, scale it, and do all sorts of crazy things with already written software. For the low-skilled programmers, I think the demand is going to go down. And one example of who it might touch the first is probably what we call freelancer programmers who are doing some uh, one-time things, not very complex, uh, outsourcing on steroids, let's say. And probably the final thing is that you can no longer afford to ignore 
AI assistance tools. AI assistance tools such as ChatGPT, GitHub Copilot can increase your productivity immensely if you know how to use them. So now is the right time to learn how to use them and to become a programmer, which is way more efficient and powerful than the programmer who can't use AI tools. Let's draw some conclusion. ChatGPT and other similar technologies have potential to assist programmers in their work and reduce the time and effort required for programming tasks. For example, AI can be used to generate boilerplate code, suggest code improvements and provide debugging assistance. This can free up programmers to focus on more challenging and creative aspects of programming. And if you want to know how you can use ChatGPT now to increase your programming productivity, check this video out. That was everything for me for today. See you.